Welcome everybody to the webinar. Uh, I hope you can hear me well. Today I'm going to teach you to open an account in TRIPS, which is like a, an easy way to say something which is not true. You're not going to open an account in TRIPS. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to open, let's say, an account in on the blockchain, on the Ethereum blockchain. So what you're doing is an account which works, uh, it's going to work for many, many, many websites. Uh, first important concept, uh, accounts on the blockchain are not tied to a specific website. So you don't need to open an account like in Airbnb, another account in Booking, another account in Expedia. You have your own account, which belongs to you only, and you take with you everywhere else on, uh, let's say, the Ethereum blockchain. I won't go too deep into that. So what you're doing here, you are creating your profile, your presence, on the Ethereum blockchain, and this belongs to you 100%. OK? Let's start with this. Let me just check that you can see everything I see. You should see a black page, which is the Origin Protocol web page. There you are. I see that we are here. And um, so, First thing to do here is to click on the sign up now button, the blue one. I'm clicking it too. Okay. You stop me every time you, you kind of feel lost or you don't follow what I'm saying. Okay, you click there. And uh, what is Origin Protocol? Why am we starting here? Well, again, uh, you could open an account for the blockchain everywhere. Um, it is not connected to any website. So through this website, you are going to be um, to be sent to MetaMask, which is a wallet. But we we are starting from here because in this way you can earn free Origin tokens. You're gonna earn some tokens which later, probably later this year, are going to be, um, uh, you, you will be able to use them or sell them for Ether and then dollars or euros. So for, let's say, uh, what some people call real money. I don't call them real money anymore. <laughs> so that's a long discussion for some other time. So. Um, you have these two options to download the Origin Mobile Wallet, wallet or to use MetaMask. Click on Connect MetaMask. Um, what is MetaMask? MetaMask is one of many crypto wallets. Um, wallets, what is a wallet? A wallet is where you keep your crypto. You keep your Bitcoin, your Ether and so on. In this case, we are into the Ethereum world. There's nothing to do uh, with Bitcoin. And... Um, what you're gonna do now is to install a plugin in your browser. MetaMask is a specific wallet which works inside your browser and lets you interact with these blockchain websites we call dApps, the centralized apps. So you should download your, um, you should be prompted to download and install this plugin. Let me try to, to do this for you too. So I already have it on my computer, so it doesn't ask me to. It asks me to uh, simply log in, but let me take another browser where I don't have it and show you how this works, okay? Let me see, I see that some of you are on the mobile phone. No, all of you on the computer. That's uh, apart from Teresita. So Teresita, you won't be able to do much from from the, the smartphone this uh, webinar is about um is about is, is for people who are using the computer so i'm doing this for another another browser let me see if i have metamask here otherwise i remove it okay so again i'm gonna sign up now no i have metamask already so let me let me remove MetaMask from here, otherwise I won't be able to replicate your situation. Just give me a second. In the meantime, if you're able to go ahead, 
just go ahead. There's always somebody who is slower, somebody who is faster. So okay, MetaMask. Nope. Not available here. So let's see, perhaps any features. I don't use Opera, so I don't remember how this works. Maybe browser. Okay, Opera plugins. Let's see how this works. Opera adds, adds, I don't. Uh, I suggested to use Chrome. Uh, I'm just using Opera because I want to show you what happens when you don't have MetaMask because I have MetaMask already. So there are uh, the extensions. Don't worry what I'm doing on my screen right now. Uh, there you are. We got it. So I'm going to destroy this extension from here. Is asking me to add it but I probably have it already okay let's try again so sign up now see what happens uh, connect MetaMask I'm sorry let's see what I can do now all right sorry about that i found it so i have to disable it and then destroy it no disabled and then I cancel it okay i finally found the way to remove metamask so i am as you at the beginning i have a browser chrome and i'm clicking up on sign up now i'm going to try to connect metamask no nope, let's start over start opera opera again okay so i'm restarting my browser from this link i shared with you let me share it with you again just in case these links is there only to let you earn tokens. Since we are opening an account, why not? Okay. Let's skip the crypto wallet from origin at the moment. Sign up now, connect MetaMask. Okay, I got it. So you should have arrived to a page like this where you see install MetaMask. So MetaMask is a wallet where you keep your crypto money cryptocurrencies and it's inside your browser so i'm going to install metamask it's going to send me send me to the metamask website uh, i will click on get opera extension you probably will see get chrome extension or get uh, firefox um, don't click on get brave browser there's something else it's going to be a bit too complicated for now so get your extension from chrome you are basically downloading a, a small software. I have add to Opera, you're going to have add to Chrome or whatever browser you're using. Okay, it's installing. And as you can see, I, I have now an icon of a fox and this is MetaMask. Okay, I can close this, I can close this and I can close this now. I'm back in origin and origin says when you've done you're done with installing metamask click on continue okay so I'm going to click on continue and it's asking me to log in to metamask 
Okay, so I'm going to click on this icon in my browser on the top bar. It's probably on the right side. It really depends on you know, if you're on a Mac or on a, or on a Windows or whatever. But look for this icon. Um, you click on these icons, it tells you to accept the rules. This is, of course, the usual rules. You can read them if you want later. You accept. It's basically say that there are risks because you're actually managing money here. Now, one thing, to create your profile um, in trips, you don't need a lot of money. You need maybe 10 cents of a dollar, whatever. Maybe it's a bit more expensive now. We will see it changes every day. It depends on how busy the Ethereum network is. Uh, so we're not talking about big money here. And I will send you some money so you can try. I'll send you some Ether. So you don't need to go and buy them from an exchange, etc. Right? I'm going to give you some free Ether today. So it asks me for a password. Let me just write a dumb password and then I'm going to use it later. You think about a password, um, possibly a good one. OK. I suggest you to write this password on whatever, on, on a piece of paper and not on the computer for security reasons. So here's my password. Let me. I would undo it on a computer because this is just a dumb password. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw away everything later on. So okay. How is it going? Am I going too fast, too slow? It was a slow start, but now I'm ready to run. So let me know if if I'm losing you. Okay, so let me try my password. I click again here. Um, actually, I'm going to do something and I suggest you to do the same because when you use MetaMask as a pop-up, it tends to disappear. So well, at the moment, I can't. So I'm going to put the password twice the same. I'm going to create a wallet. Okay. Very important moment. So um, you can see on my screen 12 words. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I lost them. These 12 words are really important. Save them. I suggest you to save them on a piece of paper. Take your time. Take a piece of paper and write them down. It's 12 words. It's not too much. So I'll give you time to do that. Or if you don't want to do it and you want to just play today, you can copy copy them on a notepad or save the seed words as five. But this is really dangerous in case later on you're going to use the same wallet. So since I, I assume you're going to use the same wallet because we always look for the easiest way, uh, make this extra effort now. Take a pen and the paper and write them down on pen and paper okay i'm gonna wait for it and in the meantime if you have questions um uh, i'm here okay so this uh, webinar will be recorded anytime you will be able to come back and follow the steps if you get lost on the way and as you can see i lost again the pop-up but i saved my words already so no problem I'll give you a minute more to say these words. Uh, a very funny concept, which is hard to grasp. I mean, it's a very simple concept, but it's hard to believe. These words are money. Now, if by mistake, I'm going to put, let's say, $1,000 worth of Ether or any other crypto which works on this wallet, in this wallet which I'm creating, and you can, you're going to, look at these words uh, you could actually import these words in a new wallet and if there is the money you can take it so anyone can do it and anyone could steal this money from me so i'm never going to use this wallet for anything except this um, this webinar okay the words are the money what are the words the words represent the private key what is a private key it's a key which lets you move which lets you move your 
your crypto. Okay, it's like a password, and with this password you can move your crypto. Okay, so anyone who has this password can know where the crypto is and and move it away. Okay, so um, let's say you copy the words and you click on this button which says I have copied it somewhere safe. Okay, it is not asking me to confirm them, so it trusts me. It probably recently changed, so this is the version of Opera. It may ask you, it's probably going to ask you actually to repeat these words to make sure you wrote them down. Did it do it? Could you tell me? So in this case, I will wait. Is it asking you to repeat it? To confirm you have these words? Now is it asking you to in insert the words? Yeah, you see? Okay, so it depends on, on the, the browser, on Opera. Great, and Nico confirms that. Uh, on Opera, it doesn't ask. Maybe it's an older version. On other places, it does. So right now, I have installed a wallet. This is a very important step. Let me um, see if I can move this. No, I just wanted to have it on. Okay, there's not this option here. Settings, let's see settings maybe. Mm, nope. Uh, in case you lose the words, these words are called seed words, you can still find them when you click here. You just need to put your password and it's gonna show them to you. Uh, but the moment you lose your, if you lose the access to this browser or, or to MetaMask, because you, I mean, let's say you, you lose the password, you, you're done, you lost your money, and there's no number you could call. Okay, so let me just play with this. I'm gonna go in settings. I wanna find the words, I put my password, I click okay, and I see my word again, okay? But anyway, let us go back to here. Okay. So now I have a wallet. What does it mean? This wallet is my profile. It is like a profile, a profile on Airbnb, but it's more than that. It's a profile, profile, and a credit card in a way. Okay, because here you can have your money. You cannot have credit cards. You can have money, and you cannot have euro. You can have only ether and other other crypto assets. Uh, that's what it is. It's your profile and your money. So. Now let's go back to Origin. Origin is asking me to log in in MetaMask. I am logged in. It doesn't doesn't see it. So I'm going to refresh. And let's see what happens. If you have questions, go ahead. I see I always check in the chat, so no worry. Okay, it doesn't do. Let me click on earn tokens. Let's just suppose suppose it works, and um, I'm going to accept terms and conditions. And now MetaMask is asking me to sign. Sign means confirm that I am this person. It doesn't move money, and there's no danger in it. So I'm just going to click on sign. I am connecting a website or a DAP to my wallet, which is my profile and my money. Okay, there you are. So you see that. Um, well, let me do that. Maybe maybe this is easier. Let me see if this works. If I'm able to take away. Uh, no, it, it stays stuck here, so it goes away all the time. Okay. On Chrome, you have the option to open the the wallet on its own. Uh, tab let me show you this in chrome where i already have it so let me go back to chrome and show you how i do this so i'm gonna go dap origin protocol and show you what i'm doing here actually so i'm gonna open metamask now if you're on chrome you can do this i'm gonna try to show you how to do this uh, to keep metamask open all the time it's much easier I'm going to access. 
I'm gonna connect. Every time, just to keep it simple, every time the, the, it asks you to sign, you just sign. Okay, it is pretty safe. So in, uh, in Chrome, you have uh, expand view. You see, I clicked on the three dots. You have expand view. It opens the MetaMask wallet on a on its own tab and you don't lose it anymore. It's just it's just easier. Okay. So let me go back now to, to Opera, which is the same as you you know, an empty wallet basically. And um, it's asking me to add name and photo to profile. Okay, here we are actually going to create um, our profile. And again, we're not opening a profile for origin, which is the software we use to, to run trips. And you're not opening a profile on trips. You're opening, um, in general, you're opening your account, uh, your profile on the Ethereum blockchain. If you want to know more, what I'm saying is ERC-725. It's a protocol and it means I have a profile and I use it in many websites. So I'm going to click here. You should see now uh, something which resembles your classic, you know, profile page of every, on every website. And I'm sorry if I'm repeating the same things many times, but this is a really new environment for you. So again, what you're doing here, you, you're doing this from, from inside a web, a web page, which is Origin Protocol. Uh, but in a way, what you're doing, you're using your Origin Protocol to create this profile, which is not connected to Origin Protocol only, but belongs to you for the whole Ethereum blockchain and possibly other blockchains, OK? Let me know if, if I've lost you, if I can go ahead with that. And in the meantime, let me. Mm, OK, no, now we have to stop because you you don't have either. Let me go back. Um, please go to MetaMask. Let me show you here and uh, click on this. is basically a button where you get um, your public address, which is like your IBAN or your bank account. This is where I can send you money, okay? You will see it here on the left side if you opened it in, uh, in full view or if you didn't. So let me go back to Opera. You will see it when clicking on here. No, okay, this is different. So copy address to clipboard, but you won't see this. This is for specifically for Opera. So what you're going to need is um, is to get the address. And the address looks like this. This is my address, so don't worry. It has nothing to do with that, but just to show, you, to show you how it looks. You get this address, and you send it to me, okay? Actually, there's an easier way to do it. If we are on this page, and you see on the right side, on the top right side, it is written Ether address. This is the same address as I just got from MetaMask. Okay, they are connected. It starts, it starts with 0x8f, mine, and it ends with C57. Yours will start similarly, and then it ends differently. Copy this one, okay? If you click on it, it goes probably on Etherscan. It goes on a website where it shows the blockchain. It doesn't matter. Uh, try to simply copy it and paste it and send it to me. When you send it to me, I am going to send you some ether so you can publish your profile. Are you still with me? Oh, OK, Federico did it and Enrico did it. Uh, OK, let's start with Federico. I'm going to show you how, how I'm going to send money to Federico right now, OK? So let me just figure out how this new webinar works because I don't see the, the messages anymore. Oh, very small. I'm going to really need to move this a bit ahead. Oh, there you are. Okay, Federico, I'm going to copy 
No, I don't want to pin it, and we, we wanna, I want to copy it. And then I see Milly too, great. So let's go Federico first. Now, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in my Chrome where I have the MetaMask with the money. You see uh, there is a number here, 3.47 Ether. This is the money I have uh, in, in this wallet. That's about six seven hundred dollars I don't remember how much is the Ether right now. Let's check it out because we always need to know crypto compare okay let's see how much is worth today the ether so we also learn um to deal with the volatility of this word okay ethereum ether today is worth 260 dollars so in this wallet i have yeah maybe 800 900 dollars it used to be half of that a month or more ago but it, it, the price went up so i have a lot of money i shouldn't have all this money in in a in a wallet but okay that's my problem so i'm gonna send some money now first the receiving address is the one i copied from okay i didn't copy properly let me go back to here uh either i didn't copy properly or federico didn't copy properly so let me try again something wrong uh, let me check Enrico Federico remind me if I don't if I forget about you okay ah, okay now there's a space at the end probably okay so let's go back sorry to Federico so I don't I don't forget okay space at the end and a space at the beginning okay either I have to be very very careful here that I don't send you like five hundred dollars so I'm going to send you less than a dollar. Uh, so if it's 262, let me see if the software helps me. And I write 0 0.001, no conversion rate available. I have to do this. OK, let me see. I don't like that I have a conversion rate available. Give me a second. I want to have a conversion rate, so let me go back. Here, settings. Okay, dollar is fine. Primary currency, let's try fiat. And maybe now I'm going to have a conversion rate. Let's see if it works now. Let me try to send again. Okay, there's no conversion rate. So let, let's look for a website. Convert Ether to USD. It's faster than, than trying to make the calculation. I'm, I'm very bad with that. Okay, for some reason Chrome doesn't work. So I'll do it on another browser. Give me a second, please. Okay, so I'm going to give you $1 today, and this is 0 0.0038. Okay. So just to keep it simple like this, oh, let's do it this easier, 0, 0 0.3. And uh, let me calculate how much it's going to cost me to send you. Now, you will see here you're seeing for the first time the concept of uh, network fees. OK, uh, I have to pay 0.00021 Ether, which is exactly 0 0.000, I forgot already, uh, 21. It's six dollars, uh, six cents of a dollar. Um, okay, it's fine. 0, 0 0.3, let me calculate again. Let me be sure it's correct. It's about 80 cents of a dollar. And I'm gonna send 
this money to, if I'm not mistaken, the first was Federico. It asks me to confirm. I'm going to confirm. And now I have broadcasted this transaction. The um, Ethereum blockchain will take a while before confirming it. So in the meantime, I can go ahead to the next person. And the next person was Enrico. So this time is faster. I'm going to send again. Gives me a mistake because of the of the empty space at the beginning. Uh, you haven't seen it, but I, I got a message that it was confirmed at least one time. 0 0.003. Of course, I'm checking very carefully that I'm not sending more than that. And because if, if I send more than that, it's lost. I can't call PayPal, Visa, or anybody else. It's simply lost. So 0, 0.03, uh, and I'm going to send the money to Enrico. There you are. And then in the meantime, go ahead to Mili. I feel like a Santa Claus. Okay, 0 0.003 over average um, transaction fee. I could do it faster by choosing a double price. So in this case, it will be 12 cents of a dollar or slow, but um, which is much less. But I see it's pretty fast with the average, so I'm not going to play with it. So again, sending 0 0.003 Ether to Milli now. And let me see. Federico twice, they send me the same probably. Okay. Yeah, the trailing blank is 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 the my software's problem, not yours. Okay, Federico, we got three of you who have done it, and um, Federico confirms he received it. The only pending one is the last one, and the others are. So let's wait a, a moment for the last one, and then we can move on. So in the meantime, while we wait the last confirmation, um, what we're going to do here again, is we're going to put a picture. Uh, we're going to verify, let's say, an email address. That will be enough for the moment. And then later, you can verify the phone and other things. And then you have created your profile. OK? Oh, sorry, I forgot the most important. I have to send money to myself, too. Otherwise, I cannot play with that. So each wallet is a completely separate entity. There's no names connected, right? Now I'm, I'm sending you some some ether, um, but uh, it's not connected to a name. I know that now, you know, of course, Federico had this this account. Sorry, this wallet and me lead this wallet. But you could have sent me this anonymously, and nobody would know. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do this fast in this case so it's a bit faster and i get it faster let's see how fast is it the more you pay for the gas the faster the transactions go and boom so i'm gonna go back to my new account and new okay we got a confirmation right now okay enrico got his um, ether federico got it we're just waiting for Millie and myself uh, there's an, e an easy way to see what's happening with a transaction is where, where you send it. Where is it? Here. Uh, there's this pending one. Oh, they're all confirmed. So le let's see. Let's say I want to see what happened with that one. I can go on this button and see it on Etherscan. Etherscan is a website which reads the Ethereum blockchain. As you know, the blockchain is um, public. Everybody can see anybody. So we can see that there was a transaction of three ether, which is about $79, 7 cents of a dollar, and that has been successfully confirmed. Okay. So right now, if I go back to my new account, I should see money in it. I'm going to refresh and see what happens. Mm. 
there you are you see on the right part the black the black um, box account balance there is written um, 0.003 ether about 79 cents of a dollar i have money to pay for the gas to do my you know upload my profile uh, publish my profile who gets this money the miners the the network the people who keep the network alive so you're not paying we're not paying origin uh, we're not paying trips we are paying a distributed network of miners and that's kind of the magic of the blockchain we're not paying a company we're paying random people who are keeping up the whole thing right so Millie reads that it's on hold um your ether is on hold maybe it was pending so it should be fine now because the one i sent to you is confirmed let me check uh your your address was the one finishing seven ff let me show you the situation situation uh let's go back 7ff it's this one exactly the one we checked yeah so i click again to show you this is again ether scan it's saying it's successful the the ether have been transferred so you have them i don't know where you read it's on old maybe you can refresh but you got them okay this is confirmed by a third party uh by a network basically so let us go back to my new account let me put a picture let me put a name this is like test webinar third of june 19. i am a test i could put a picture <laughs> so i'm uploading a picture say okay um and then i click okay uh right now i have put a name and a and a picture you can do the same of course okay great Milly, you got it perfect and uh we haven't written anything to the blockchain you cannot write things on the blockchain by mistake because you pay for it and the metamask asks you for a confirmation uh, before you publish because publishing costs money i'm gonna confirm my email address so let me try a random email address which is webinar 3 june 19 and then i'm gonna put a website where i get all the emails it's called catch all but you can put your your real email address when i go continue and uh i'm gonna check i'm going to check my email address my email basically and uh look for the code they should have sent me so you do the same right you put your email address click ok and then you will get a code and you're gonna paste this code into this box so the email is your origin verification code in my case the code is um, in your case two is gonna be six digits you can see it on my screen but you cannot use it because it won't work for you i do continue and i have verify my email again i haven't published anything yet okay now uh my profile strength is 50 percent. it means i haven't yet um, verified twitter phone number airbnb google or facebook i won't do it because i've done it many times and uh, it doesn't make sense you can do it later uh, you're gonna pay twice in this case um, but don't worry i mean uh, let's just uh, do it for now for the email and I'll leave you the time to do this for your phone number okay and while you do it I'm going to explain you how the others work too okay so you can click and insert your phone number you will get an sms and you can put the code of the sms there and you have verified your phone number you're going to earn money for verifying these things okay you see the campaign earnings which are uh, zero origin tokens you're gonna get 25 uh, for each of these more or less now I don't remember exactly so you do it on the phone why I, I'll explain you the rest okay so the phone is simple uh, SMS they know your phone number and uh, they can um, they know so actually I, I was saying something very imprecise they don't know your phone number that's the funny thing you are putting your phone number and nobody knows it at this stage 
the email, yes, because they're using the email to send you notifications for bookings, okay? But the phone at the moment stays between you and the blockchain and nobody knows it. What we're doing here is to say, I have a phone number and it's been verified that I have a phone number. So for instance, it, it stops uh, people spamming thousands of accounts because it's difficult to have thousands of phone numbers. That's basically the idea, right? Same things with Facebook. Uh, you are going to connect Facebook, but you're not going to give any information, not, neither to Facebook or to Origin or to Trips. We know that you have a Facebook account. Same thing for Twitter. Same thing for Airbnb. Airbnb is a bit uh, funny. It's different than the others because they're going to give you some words and you have to paste these words in the Airbnb profile. Then you save your Airbnb profile. The software goes and reads your Airbnb profile and checks that the words are there. If the words are there, it means this is actually your account. So you have an Airbnb account. Okay? Then you can remove these words from Airbnb. They're just random words anyway. And uh, and then Google is the same. It's going to kind of your browser connect Google to, to the DAP and, and basically forget about it, right? So I just wait a bit until you tell me that you have verified your phone number or you have questions or you are stuck. In the in the personal profile, uh, so in Airbnb, you have to put these words in your personal profile and then give the link to your personal profile, not in the house description. So I'll just wait for the first of you to confirm that we have a, a phone number verified, and then I'm going to move ahead. As with any uh, SMS, it could um, there could be a delay. Oh, great. Enrico has been very fast, verified phone, email, and Google. It, it is actually fast if you're using a browser where you are already logged in with these things. So, okay. Federico is having problems with Airbnb, apparently, but you can do it later, okay? So, let's go ahead. I have... Uh, now, I am at 50%, Enrico is probably at 80%, and Federico maybe somewhere around there, okay? Uh, I'm going to click on Continue. Oh, it's asking me the phone number again. Oh, okay, no, I, I, put a, I clicked the wrong, the wrong button. So I, I was clicking on Continue to, step, to verify your phone number. I don't want to verify the phone number. I just want to publish the changes. Publish means write this, which is now only on your laptop and computer, it's not anywhere else, publish it on the blockchain. So it's not going to be saved in any server, just on the blockchain, okay? So it asks me to confirm this transaction in MetaMask. <clears throat> and let's have a look at this MetaMask notification. MetaMask is telling me that um, the cost of Writing on the blockchain is 0.00024 Ether, which is about six cents of a dollar. Okay. And then I can submit. I'm going to submit. And someone around the world now, right now, is earning this Ether for his job of keeping on of keeping the whole blockchain, the Ether, Ethereum, Ethereum blockchain alive. So this is the slow part, okay? We are not writing on a server, we're writing on many servers. The first one gets the money, the others have just to copy. That's a bit how it works. Um, so it's been successful. And I have now published my profile on the blockchain. It's uh, If it's the first time you're doing this, this is an historical moment in a way. This profile may stay with you for a long time, okay? 
You can, of course, close it and, and start another one if there's any problem. But the idea is that this is your profile. It belongs only to you. You make it strong. You, you're going to get reviews from trips. You're going to get reviews as a buyer in another website. You're going to get reviews as a seller in another website. So uh, if you have this one profile and you keep it and you nurture it and you, and you behave properly on, on the blockchain, in a few years, this could be very, very powerful and, uh, and and precious to you because it's going to allow you to sell better and to buy better and etc cetera, etc cetera. okay so we have basically done this let me let me go and um, check the earn tokens or let me see any change in the page okay first of all a right box right black box 0 0.00279 you see i have less ether right now as I was saying before, the ether I have here could be stolen at any moment by any of you. If you go back and you check the words and you create a new wallet and you import these words, you're going to steal me this money easily. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to touch them. I give you permission to steal them. So when we are done, the faster, the fastest among, amongst you can create a new import, a new wallet and, and take these 70 sets. Uh, don't do it if you think this is going to make confusion, if it's going to be, you know, like create a big confusion in your computer, uh, or do it if you, if you want to do it from a, from a mobile wallet, download any Ethereum wallet, and there you are. You can get the 70 cents on the Ethereum wallet, okay? Let me see what happened. Um, I don't have origin tokens yet, even if I should have earned them, because I get them at the end of the month, right? So let me see what happens here. Earn tokens. Uh, as you see, I have added a name and a photo to the profile and I verified my email. I haven't earned any money because if I remember correctly to earn money, let me, let me start again. What do you have to do to earn money? Let me try again to see, confirm what has to be done to earn money. I don't remember. for a metamask sign okay let's see how you earn money here oh no I'm not here I can't see it here um because I earned this money already a long time ago with this profile uh let me see unlocked Okay, now I haven't earned any money because I haven't done anything which, by money I mean origin tokens. You have to verify your phone number, your Facebook profile. Okay, so email and picture and name don't give you any origin tokens. Phone number, Facebook profile, Airbnb profile, Twitter profile, and Google profile uh, earns, you, earns you money. Okay, so I won't earn money, which is good. I don't want to like earn money just by playing with it. Uh, you can go ahead and you're going to have you're gonna earn your money right so let me show you a few other things how you can earn money so at the beginning you simply create your account which is not an account as you understood but you basically you create your profile and you earn origin tokens you can earn 50 origin tokens by inviting friends to origin for instance you click here and there's um it's not open to me because i haven't done the rest uh, when you click here, you can uh, you get a link which you give to your friends. Okay, uh, I'm stopping a, a second. How much is the origin token worth? No idea. They are not on the market. They've just been distributed for the first time in uh, in May. They cannot even be moved yet, so we don't know how much they're worth. Uh, we can speculate. Will they be worth ten cents each? Maybe. Probably. Uh, will they be worth a dollar? Could be. It's a big project. May will they be worth ten thousand dollars like Bitcoin? Mm, probably not. Not not in the short term. Who knows? Okay. Uh, keep them safe. That's all I can tell you. Now, other ways to earn tokens is booking apartments. Now, for instance, here you see you can book apartments in San Francisco. Uh, you pay for it, of course. Uh, you pay it there. Or you can book apartments in Venice, Milan, Rome. These are our apartments from trips. 
and they have been added to this campaign for June. Tenerife from Lucia Maneggio in, uh, in Como Lake. This is from Marcella, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Vatican is in Rome, of course, it's not in the Vatican. Uh, Trastevere is in Rome, and another one in Venice. Uh, not only in Venice. Then you can purchase some art, uh, you can models, you can buy stuff basically. There's a lot of art it's for, for sale. Uh, crypto bull art. You can uh, buy a cap from Zoid Pay. I'm not sure what Zoid Pay is. You can buy T-shirts from Origin. You can do this as as a you know just a way to try to buy things on the DApp on the blockchain. This is not Trips. This is uh, the, the DApp of Origin Protocol, which sells many things, not only accommodations. We only do accommodations. Or one thing I done, I, you can buy twenty five dollars worth of Amazon gift card and. Uh, and uh and then you can use them only on amazon.com so if you probably if you have to buy you know books from kindle or have something sent from the states it's a good idea and you're gonna earn 15 origin tokens and then you have this is new i haven't seen this before itunes gift cards google play walmart gift cards target a uber gift card that's interesting uber gift card is not bad okay let me buy an Uber gift card uh, live. I'm going to use Uber probably. Or the last one, you can donate under dollars to a charity. So let me do this. Let me buy an Uber gift card. I have money anyway. See, I'm very rich here. I got 3.4 Ether. Um, what you're going to see right now, it's, you know, we already left the, the part of the webinar where we are creating the account profile, I should say, uh, we are buying something on the blockchain and I'm going to do this slowly so you can actually see um, what I'm what I'm doing. So I'm going to click on purchase a $25 worth Uber gift card and uh, which costs me about $25 and earns me 15 origin tokens. I see that Teresita has problem with the PC. You can follow Teresita. You will be able to see this um, webinar register later so don't worry okay now okay die let me tell you what die is let me see if i have die yes i got 100 die um die are cryptos which are always trying to be worth one dollar so they don't go up and down they are called stable coins okay they are pretty successful so far as we know every if with any stable coin um, in the world, you never know how stable it is and for how long, but you know, for now, for the last couple of years, it's been stable, so it's fine. So I can spend exactly 22.5 DAI, which is $22.5, and I'm gonna get this uh, Uber gift card, I hope. Okay, what I'm getting is about $30 worth of Uber. Oh, no, I won't buy this because this can only be redeemed on the US Uber and Uber Eats app. I'm not in the US, I'm not going to buy it. So don't buy it. I hope you didn't follow me. And so I won't buy anything. I already bought a, an Amazon gift card, so I'm basically done. Um, yeah, we are done. You have, let me see if I can show you a little bit better. Um, if your profile is visible somewhere. So let me go back. This is, uh, Opera. Um, I'm going to go on. Okay. These are the messaging. You can enable messaging. Doesn't really matter right now. You're not doing anything. Just, you know, enable stuff you see, which must be enabled. Sign what you have to sign. It doesn't cost you money. And, oh, it opened me something extra here. Why? Why don't I? So I don't have messages apart from this one. Okay, the rest is for later later webinars, how to add a listing, how to buy stuff, etc. Just let's, let's go quickly and then we're done to the Origin Protocol website where you can buy stuff. Uh, you can buy a lot of stuff, actually. 
maybe you find something you like. There's the apartments we talked about. There's the first ones are the ones which give you um, free origin tokens. And then let's you now let's be curious. You can pay this guy $157 for a counseling about how to earn thousand dollars great you make almost 850 dollars for free you can buy some savage sauvage <clears throat> uh, perfume from russia you can buy a car and uh, let me see if you can buy something here there is an excursion for sale so all these products and services are interesting because you're not buying them through a third party you're just using this software which is a protocol and doesn't charge commissions basically the only money which is spent is for the fees and as you've seen that the fees is a few cents there's no company keeping 10 50 sorry 10 15 20 30 percent out of the of the transaction and when you buy let's say i'm gonna buy this car let's say i want to buy this car okay okay um well it's not working because i don't have enough money but if i buy this the money goes on a smart contract and it gets stuck there of course this is a fake kind of listing nobody would buy this car or maybe they're gonna first uh message yuri and fleshkin doesn't even tell where the car is so it's not really a, a proper listing as many in the, in origin protocol that there's many tests and trials so i'm not telling you there's a good website to buy stuff there's a few things you could buy but mostly it's just tests and uh so when I send the money, it goes in the smart contract and uh, it stays there until you as a buyer get the car in your post, right? You get it delivered by UPS or DHL, whatever. You say the car is fine and then you release the money. Uh, if there's a problem, you can escalate or the, the seller can escalate to, in this case, Origin Protocol, which is going to act as a third party. And... Uh, Hopefully the third party is not centralized and is like a community which decides things like let me show you trips community and then we can we can wrap it up. Trips community is a, um, a DAP which only provides accommodations. We have launched the beginning of May. We have 54 listings. You've seen some of them. You can only book stuff, you can't buy stuff. So let's say you want to book uh, an apartment, this, uh, this nice apartment with a swimming pool in Como Lake. There you are. I can uh, book some days. Of course, now I'm going to suppose these prices are real and then I'm going to pay for hundred dollars i don't have enough this one doesn't accept either so i can't book i should i should like uh no uh the problem is that i don't have enough enough money but anyway you get the idea okay i think we're done um if you have any questions maybe i lost any question no let me know if you have questions otherwise we are we are done here okay anyway we are done and uh thank you for being here today um in a, in a few days this video is going to be online good luck you've created an account or again you create a wallet and a profile on the blockchain and uh, who knows it's gonna maybe stay with you a long time and uh thank you again and uh see you next time bye